What's up, Comets? Welcome to CTV News Online. I'm Bob Lang. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. As most of you know, this is the final week of online instruction for students in the Charleston County School District. That means that by this weekend, all you students who have completed all your assignments will be on summer break. So, have you thought about what might be on your reading list over the next three months? Here to help you map out your summer reading plan is Cario Librarian Mrs. Gomez with her final book talk of the school year. Hi there, Comets. This is your final book talk Tuesday on Monday for this school year. With any luck, next year's book talks will be back on Tuesdays, and I'd love to feature Cario students talking about their recommendations. Let's face it, you're much cooler than me. No cap. So let's talk about summer. Summer reading, that is. For the second year in a row, Charleston County Schools are partnering with Charleston County Libraries to offer a streamlined, super easy way to get in on summer reading fun. Your username and login for the CCPL Summer Reading Program is the same as your school or my portal username and password. And I'm sure you all know those by this point in e-learning. Here's a public librarian to tell you more about the program. Hey everyone, I'm Darcy from Charleston County Public Library and we wanted to let you all know that even though it probably seems like your world has turned upside down lately, one thing that hasn't changed is that we're gonna have an awesome summer reading program for grades six through 12. So it's all online this year. You can log all of your reading and other activities from home. And this year you'll read five, 15, and then 30 hours to win a ton of great prizes. And we've got swag like earbuds and pop sockets. We'll have brand new books for you to add to your collection, coupons to restaurants like Wendy's and TCBY, and we'll have those teen summer reading t-shirts back again. We'll also have weekly drawings this year. So as long as you earn at least five points each week, you'll be entered to win e-gift cards and tickets to local attractions. Now, since you are CCSD students, you're already registered. You're already all signed up. So all you have to do to participate is go online to ccpl.org slash summer online, and you can start logging your reading on June 6th. And the program lasts until August 15th. So happy reading and have a great summer, guys. I couldn't let this book talk end without recommending some books to read over the summer. While Cario does not require specific summer reading assignments, we do recommend reading over the summer. And maybe choose three titles from Scazzle's Junior Book Award nominees. I've already begun reading some, and there's something for everyone. Adventure, romance, historical fiction, and more. Get a jump start on next year's required reading, as most teachers do ask for a Junior Book Award title at some point. Check out the complete list of nominees on my latest library newsletter and the school library website. Comments, I have loved sharing book recommendations with you this year, and I love hearing from you about what you're reading. Don't let summer stop that. Send me an email and let me know what you recommend reading next. Until next year, see you later, Comments. We still have some great student pet videos that we haven't showed you, plus a few teacher pet videos mixed in. Check this out. This is my dog, Murphy. He is an English Springer Spaniel, and I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. Hey again, this is Dixie, my teddy bear hamster. Hope you enjoy my pets. Go comments. Okay, so this is Cooper, and this is Leo, and make no mistakes, Leo is the boss at our house. Right, Coop? <sighs> This is Angel. This is my little baby. His name is Skylar. He is a cream golden retriever and he just turned one. Hi, my name is Reese. This is my dog Violet. She is a black lab mix. She's four years old. And this is Colby. He is eight years old and he's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They're so sweet. Hi, my name is Mason. This is my uh, snake. She's a banana king. This is my beard dragon named Pongo. <laughs> this is Tiki, flying squirrel, guacamole taco. And then this is Flower. Hey guys, Mrs. Morris here and my dog Zoe. I uh, hope you guys are having a enjoyable week and uh, we sure do miss you. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care. Hey guys, this is my dog. 
Griffin. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hello, I'm Maxwell, and this is my dog, Georgie. She is a rough coat Jack Russell Terrier. I hope all of you are staying safe and go Comets. Miss Holmes here with my dogs. This is Denali, who just turned one, and Cruz, who just turned five. These are my dogs. This one's Ella, she's a Staffy Pitbull, and this one's Chopper. He's a long haired Chihuahua. And these are my cats. This one's Lucy, and this one's Lug Nuts. They're both sisters and brother. Hi, everyone. This is my kitten, Bell Bell. She's very naughty. <laughs> she is very naughty. This is Bell Bell. She's taking a bath. Say so we miss everybody. Are we have that. You saw Principal Morris among those pet videos. Some of you may not know that for the past two years, she's been Cario's interim principal. Last week, the district announced that it is removing the interim designation and making her Cario's official principal. Way to go, Mrs. Morris. You're an authentic comet now. As if there ever was any doubt. Well, that's it for today. Have a great start to your week. I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Until then, go Comets.